won this. Alright guys, Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. What I've got for you today is a reaction with a bit of analysis, a bit of a guitar lesson on, I think his name is pronounced Markin. I've only seen a short clip of him before, so I'm really wanting to check out this full song here, Beethoven's Fur Release. As always, a huge shout out and a massive thank you to Rabbi Rabs, Glenn Kelly, Stephen Williams, Rebecca Hay, Falcon Sinner and Dale's Ghost for the continued support on Patreon. Be yourself as something you'd like me to check out, make sure to hit me up at patreon.com forward slash JBF Music. Nice cinematic start to the video anyway. Okay, off to the races already. It's like harmonics and stuff you wouldn't have expected to be in there. And a D tune. Oh cool, right. So is that overdubbed or is he playing that as well? Like the rhythm part. Playing it, cool. Some strengths you need to do these hammer ons from nowhere. Neck bent as well. <laughs> Aside from all the bells and whistles, all the tricks, it's just great technique he's using here as well. Some cool production with the dynamics as well. <laughs> Making that musical is a now an impossible task, so fair play to him. Cool. There's a wee bit of multi-tracking going on in this recording, as you'd expect, but the um, part he's playing is seriously impressive. Some really beautiful voicings there as well. This is really cool. The um, flamboyant hand action is sort to get the percussive effect. Um, different parts of the guitar have different sounds, so it's not just a showman thing. A little bit as well, showmanship. Beautiful dynamics as well. It's, oh, cool. it's almost like a kind of a, like a trap remix or something. <laughs> Big tapped arpeggios. I think those are special machine heads to the down tune. Yeah, that sort of sound. This is so busy, there's so much learning goes into something like this. This is pure muscle memory if you want to pull it off. It's so effective that crescendo before the dead stop. Some of the stuff I just can't work out what he's doing. <laughs> like that rhythm thing there, that's totally over my head. going to wind out there. Final burst here. Mm -hmm. Subtle vibrato on that last note. <laughs> uh, yeah, so th there's lots of very uh, unique techniques there, some really novelty ones, but he's making it sound musical. Like the behind the, the nut thing, I'll explain what that is with my grandma guitar. Um, if you did want to learn this stuff, it says up here he has a, a tab book. I think that's the way to do it, because transcribing this would be an absolute nightmare. So say you wanted to play like this, if you want to be like a technique master like this, the way to do it would be getting your kind of fundamentals. So rather than going into all the kind of um, hammers on from nowhere and the artificial harmonics, you maybe want to start off with some kind of finger style pieces, learn that way. Um, and you'd have to, have to practice a lot, you'd have to have the determination to do it. 
and then from there start to build into the kind of the, the tapping and the hammers and the kind of rhythmic stuff the modern acoustic style as well aside from that there is a slight x factor going on here in that Markin, as i believe his name is pronounced correct me in the comments if i'm wrong which i likely am he's got a, a good brain for this sort of thing for the problem solving aspect and a lot of times the technique we get down as guitarists down the technique rabbit hole and you do something for the sake of technique whereas what he's doing here is calling upon all these very flashy fancy guitar moves that unless you're a guitar player you might not notice the techniques you'd think it sounds great but you wouldn't quite realize the skill that goes into the, these fine minute details and as i say what he's clearly got a, a talent and a skill for which which again he'll have honed over the years this stuff isn't just you know you're not just born with the ability to uh, arrange music to work out how to put the pieces together so this is the song I'm doing, like if whether it's a cover or original, this is what I want to sound like. How do I make that happen using the bits and pieces of knowledge that I have? Do I need to learn something new to make it happen? Be really up for checking out more stuff from this guy, so suggestions down below. If there's something specifically you want me to check out or you want to support the channel, if the means inclination to do so, check out patreon.com forward slash jbrmusic. Cheers guys, have a good one.